I love everything that's modern, innovative. Everything that moves keeps the world turning. I love art and design, but never despise a classic. Inspiration is everywhere. For my job, I'm traveling the world. I love to see different societies, different approaches to life. If we stop questioning the status quo, if we stop to challenge ourselves, we stop evolving. We have to cross the boundaries. We have to discard conventions to keep moving. I am Sinti, musician, producer, record store owner, DJ, and proud mother. To counteract my fast lifestyle, I need to recharge my batteries. I love technology, technology that simplifies my life. And most of all, I love to widen my horizon. So today I'm going to meet Domagoj Chuketz, head of BMW Design, to have a chat with him. So Domagoj, my first question is, you know, these days we're living in a time where everything moves so fast, you can almost not keep track of everything. How does it reflect the design of the car? Design is about fulfilling, let's say, desires. And it's probably the same for you. As an artist, you create music for people to have joyful moments. And about BMW, it's the same. It's like creating experiences of joy. This is something we want to transport into the future. But joy, which was before always just sheer driving pleasure, it's transforming. And so when we create a new car or a new product, we focusing on customer centricity. It's not just the look, mm -hmm. I'm a designer, but design is much more than just the superficial aesthetic. Yes. It's also about like, how do you feel inside? We want to use technology mm -hmm. to make the life of customers more pleasant or easier. The customer group, who you had in mind when you started to design the new car, the X1? Of course, uh, a car um, has not just one single customer as a target group. There's a wide target group, but with such a product, we want to address a younger generation. So therefore, digitalization is a very important topic. Also, um, younger people are more expressive, adventurous, they want to take responsibility. They also want to make statements. And this car can make a statement, especially because it is electric, mm -hmm. but there is no compromise on the strengths of a character. So the car has now a really unique character in the portfolio. Mm -hmm. We call it the Brave. So when I saw the X1 for the first time, my first impression was it's the grown-up version of the version before. Yeah, there are a lot of changes. The car has much more presence in the front. Just by treating the surfaces less round, so more sheer, it's a little bit more like a tool. And it feels also more digital. When you look on the rear lights, how we treated them, three-dimensional, they feel more like a digital product. What I absolutely love is like to have the big display, you know, like less going on in the front, less knobs. Of course, you have a lot of technology, but you don't want to feel like in a, in a cockpit of an airplane. We, we bring technology more in the background and yes. uh, show them just when you need them. Therefore, we call it Shytech. The X1 comes with a complete new user interface, which is the same one which you will find in, in our uh, top-of-the-line models. This brings the X1 not just on a different level from an aesthetic, mm -hmm. but also as a product. It's a full premium product from the BMW portfolio, just on a smaller footprint. Dumagoy, thank you so much for your time. So to wrap things up, this car is available in three different drive variants. A combustion engine with the new mild hybrid concept. A plug-in hybrid with an electric range of over 80 kilometers. 
and of course my choice, the all-electric BMW iX1 with a range of 430 kilometers. Another step into BMW's plan to have 13 full electric models next year. BMW follows their Shytech approach with the BMW curved display and with BMW's operating system 8. The X1 has a design and technology that fits modern needs. My needs. Hey BMW, take a picture. Time to pump up the energy.